Greetings, fellow medical professionals. Thanks for taking the time to protect your patients from HIV using PrEP. Did you know that there is a medication to prevent the over 40,000 new cases of HIV per year in the U.S.? Did you know this medication is over 90% effective and extremely safe? Did you know that it is covered by most insurances and available at little to no cost for most patients? The answer is PrEP. PrEP is short for HIV pre-exposure prophylaxis, meaning your patient takes it before exposure to HIV. PrEP is only for people who are HIV negative. Truvada and Descovy are the two drugs that can be used as PrEP. Both are safe and effective. If taken every day along with condom use, PrEP has been shown to be over 90% effective at preventing HIV transmission in some populations. PrEP is for all genders and all sexual orientations. By the end of this short video, you as a provider can help end the HIV epidemic in three easy steps. Identify patients at risk of HIV. Order the necessary labs to prescribe and monitor PrEP. Counsel a patient about things like common side effects. Step one, is PrEP right for your patient? PrEP is the right choice for more of your patients than you'd probably expect. People who don't know the HIV status of their sexual partners people who have condomless sex with one or more partners, people who come in for a sexually transmitted infection have had multiple STI infections, or even come in just for a screen, people who have partners who are known to be HIV positive, people who use injection drugs, sex workers, or people who exchange sex for things like housing, money, or food, people who are in prison, anybody who asks for it if they're at risk. Step two. How do I prescribe and monitor PrEP? Patients need to come back every three months to get some blood tests and renew their prescription. Before you start PrEP, you just need to order six easy labs. Don't worry if you forget, you can always look them up on our site. HIV blood test. This is the most important test. PrEP is only for people who are HIV negative. If they are HIV positive, then resistance could develop. Renal function. STI testing if having sex. Hepatitis B, Hepatitis C, pregnancy test. Every three months, HIV, STI testing if having sex, pregnancy testing if necessary. Every six months, renal function. Step three, counseling. One in 10 people experience GI side effects like nausea, flatulence, and bloating. They usually go away after the first week or two. There is a small reversible decrease in bone density with PrEP. There was no increase in fractures observed. You don't need to monitor bone density. There is also a minimal decrease in renal function. Truvada isn't recommended for people with a GFR less than 60. Don't forget to encourage condom use every single time. Well, that was easy. Indeed. Thank you for taking the time to learn about PrEP. Remember to check out our website for all the information presented in this video and more.